Hello, beta testers. <laughs> In the interest of your time, Starfield, the Bethesda game, of course, has issues. Issues that are plain to the naked eye, meaning you don't need advanced knowledge or sophisticated understandings of the tech or mechanics to see this ain't right. I found myself saying, Starfield may be a space game, but it doesn't exist in a vacuum. For a 2023 game to claim space exploration, yet omit vehicles and fail to allow people to leave planets and land on them instead of just loading screens, you know what I mean? It situates the creation engine exactly where it belongs, in the trash. But imagine for a moment that you're a woke games journalist that needs to fill your mouth with pubes defending this below average exercise in forgettable monotony. That's your cue, Mary Sue, who has decided that a collection of images that people are passing around is racist because there are predominantly black people pictured in the image. This is funny for two reasons I'll focus on, hopefully before our ADD kicks in. Firstly, bitch, what? My name is Kyel, and forgive my volume if it suddenly increases. Why does the race of the people in this bug collection matter? If your argument is that racism is the reason that, again, this collection of bugs is being circulated, I can not only affirm that you are wrong, but I consider you a fool in your capacity as a writer. I am disgusted and resent race being brought into a situation that it wasn't in before you brought it in. And I know unnatural people like you love to force things, so try not to come as you types, as usual, love to Larry Fink force things into a situation that were fine before you got there and are terrible after you've arrived. You call people racist and sexist and phobe for their factual statements and call people coomers for liking attractive women because you dyed hair dumpsters full of depression need others to be as miserable as you? Do you remember when Stacey Henley, editor-in-chief of Kotaku runner-up The Gamer, dismissed a girl trans-harassed until she cried? Because she's just a cisgender white girl, Pepperidge Farm remembers. In fact, you're always focusing on our differences. You types seek to divide us and expose how aware and terrified you are of our power when we know we're not alone. I do not condone anyone reaching out to these entities as they will continue to cannibalize themselves as they continue to fail in ways even experimental AI can outpace. These people don't deserve an entire video, but I have to show you who and how they act because education on whom you're dealing with is necessary in saving our harmless hobby that now makes more than any other entertainment when they hate busty pretty women because to them it's unnatural and abnormal but they cheer for pronouns because inclusion and bear sex because it's just fun he's a druid all right as a heterosexual man with a strong libido, go ahead and line up for the complaints in the comment section, wokies. Enough testosterone is oozing through me to instantly recognize insecure people with deserved complexes because they are woefully inferior to a damn robot. The laughs are as involuntary as watching a child fall down. Bitch, that kid is fine. These kids are like Wolverine with their wolf fucking healing factors. The second hilarious thing is that the woke publication noticed something they're supposed to ignore, and it's that there's an overwhelming amount of black people in any screenshot you can take of anybody's gameplay. And to emphasize what I'm talking about, because you can look around and just be like, one, two, three, four, five, six, what the hell? You know what I mean? Space Detroit. Like, there's this Family Guy clip where a black dude goes back in time. Listen, whitey, black man here to tell you if a part of you has felt like, Jesus Christ, that's not just you. 
a screenshot that you take in game is not you being a racist please don't let these fucking goblins cloud your mind man pronoun people can't stop at ignoring reality they demand that you do the same and ignore what doesn't suit their narrative they gotta deny science they tell you your eyes ain't working and that you're exaggerating or that you're racist just for observing man just for factually you could hold up a mirror to these people and they've got words to call you they need to change the definition of things assure you that it's no big deal and then get extremely triggered about facts it's not a big deal but if we try to remove it then huh, it is a big deal you need to get banned so now it wasn't enough that they extracted feminine beauty from everything that they touch because they'll claim it's unrealistic when in reality it's just competition unrealistic so they gotta alter a video game bozo because mushroom eating mario breaking his coccyx ground pounding and traveling through pipes needed more realism because a princess kissing at the end of the game is sexist it needs to be updated and removed i'm rachel zegler i photographed and videotaped hundreds of women and if you've ever been outside in your life You've seen beautiful, curvy, full-figured women with wide hips. Sound like I'm making an AI prompt, right? You know, midriff. <laughs> Maybe you've seen the nipples poking through the shirts of these insane femininity oozing women. Where you think to yourself, man, this girl should carry. You know what I'm saying? That is a compliment, women. You know, and a lot of people don't need to be pretty to be targeted and that's messed up. But some girls are so pretty that it's like, ooh, it, sounds, it feels like a little bit of an inevitability here. So I hope that your your, your parents have taken the necessary precautions, stun gun something, you know what I mean? To have all of the breasts that I've ever buried my face in declared unrealistic by a literal goblin who is, this is not an exaggeration, recognizing themselves as a literal X-man with their power uh, apparently being to change their biological sex at will. No, Charles, get out of my head, Charles. Jean, show them the truth. No, Jean Grey. Oh, they're scared of your power, girl. You should become Jean Color. Jean Grey is the old you. See how stupid that sounds? And it's, and it's more like, uh, it's more inspired than they come up with anyway. When I see people start licking ice cream again, you know what this isn't about race? Circulating a video, making the world a worse place by putting the idea in people's heads. It's not about race. Taking a screenshot in a video game isn't racist. I have to say this because of these radical trans jackasses spamming. Spamming the fucking internet with this horseshit that some developers end up coming across and going, oh man, is this an issue? That's what they're hoping to do, man. Just because racists do it doesn't mean everyone who does it is race. Imagine if like Elon Musk said some transphobic shit, and I don't know, I'm just making it up because everything's transphobic to these people, so I'm sure that he has done something. Imagine if I insinuated that anybody who used Elon Musk's site is now a transphobe. It wouldn't stop you clowns from using it you have nowhere else to go you have nowhere else to go so look sarkeesian slid into this industry and and really crippled the west but they regard any banning or moderation in the way of silencing and removing people as quote winning do you know what mods mean to gaming you don't think i know a Korean free-to-play games probably going to get absurd, you know. But being a gamer these days is making sure that we are, are gaming and not getting gamed, if I may say it that way. Disney, Bud Light, BlackRock, they all learned a real valuable lesson. And I think gaming in the West is like the old man that we need to keep teaching the lesson. And we'll do it gladly, you know. The money's drying up for these people and they are drowning. And they want us to throw a live server. That's crazy. 
I'm going to say it like this. Hogwarts Legacy could be a franchise that comes out every other year for the rest of my life and I'd buy it even if I couldn't play it. You know why? Because it's become the, the reverse Bud Light. I would buy Stellar Blade for this reason. I would buy Into the First Descendant for this reason. Because mods are how a community comes together and makes a change to enhance, uh, to, to make a more immersive experience for people over time. We as fans are why these properties survive. So to punish, to punish us, <laughs> I can't believe I have to say this. I have to, I have to say this. A lot of, a lot of communities devoted to lost media these days. But when, when, when the last person thinks about a thing, it's dead. It'll be difficult to find. It'll be gone. And these people seek to kill things. That's why they gotta. And it's, it's so hypocritical to me only because, and this will be the last thing that I say. Look at the VTubers who are now more popular than real women on YouTube. It's crazy that these radical trans people are furiously advocating for the removal and censorship of feminine women, but they have no problems with big jiggly boobs on their personal VTubers that they specifically use to target young people on the internet. Oh, is that unfair for me to say? It's almost as unfair as calling a screenshot fucking racist. So why don't you go fuck yourself? You listening to me, you got a problem with me, and you're writing articles like this, man? Nah, we got a problem with you. And one of these days, some of these people are going to be as nasty as you've been for the last 10 years. Because when they wanted to come home and play a finished game that felt like it came out this year, and even if it didn't, when they go online and they see people serially capping for absolute trash, this isn't like the kind of competition that bolsters and helps the industry because, oh, Sony's going to see it and think, oh, man, we got to try harder. You and your one game, that's just as bad as Deathloop, even though those niggas were capping for that. That's just as bad as fucking Redfall, even though scumbags were capping for that, too. I have no words. But I got this industry, and so does everybody, whether or not we choose to speak up or not. Guys, I love you to death. Thank you for all of your support. Forgive the schizo rambles, you know. <laughs> I love you, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Man. I done played a lot of games, make me want to bust a cap. If you see my man Bethesda, don't forget to double tap. Every time I think of Fallout, I don't think of basketball. Ninja may play games well, but he can't entertain at all. Fuck this frame rate, almost heaven, more like hell. Where are my mods? What y'all out here trying to sell? Why you telling lies, Todd? We've been dealing 10 years with this damn creation engine. Clunky, buggy, glitchy, causing apprehension, not to mention hypertension. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Turn off the bloom, I'm out of room. I'm out of room. Spoil, ooh, ground ain't smooth. Ground ain't smooth. Dude, ooh, I'm out of room. I'm out of room. Spoiled food. Back in my camp, I turned drunk to scrap. I'm back on the prowl. I need more. Kill super mutants, drop mini guns, weigh 20 pounds. Oh no. Kill scorch beasts and death claws with piss poor AI. Steal brotherhood in the wrong place and the FOV won't slide. Answer me this beat, Heinz. I know you're not the Lord guy, but start by telling me why. I can't modify. Looking at graphics so ugly that I wanna die. Lag is spiking and now I'm dead, so I come back, shoot him in the head. Even though I pumped him full of lead, fallout will not give me my cred. It sucks when I try hard to complete a quest. To clear a silo and launch a nuke, but the game disconnects. Come back in, can't fast travel over and come for bitch. You telling me my motherfucking camp don't exist? False advertising said canvas and trashy nylon. It's like paying for a painting and getting work crayon. Your influencers got wined and dined and flown out for free, but loyal fans pay 200 to suck on that dick. Barely out a week, $30 on sale. Don't you think that shit is weak? This early access shit is stale and your engine's an antique.